IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world. IHS analysts are absolutely a key part of any of our customers' teams, particularly when evaluating new opportunities or looking to enhance uh, existing or mature opportunities that they have. We provide context and analysis of developments across the energy chain. Uh, and on top of that, we provide outlook and implications as to what's likely to come next. IHS Energy's division covers a wide range of energy types, uh, right through from our traditional coverage in terms of markets like oil uh, and gas, uh, but also covering uh, policy and regulation through things like nuclear, um, all the aspects of power generation, uh, unconventionals, which is a key for today's market, uh, the renewables market, which is uh, also upcoming, biofuels and, and right through to water. What we aim to do is to, is to look at an event and then to think how that fits in in its context and how important it is. So uh, events like the, uh, the nuclear incident in Japan, for instance, have far-reaching consequences, not only in that region, but also for Europe, for instance, which faces a very difficult future in terms of building new capacity, in terms of generating the power that it will need in the future. But it also faces challenges around the environmental sensitivity of doing that with nuclear power. We provide a range of uh, different uh, output formats to our customers and we are looking at what's happening in the market and analysing that uh, through different time periods. So with the highest frequency being uh, output every 15 minutes, uh, right through to annual and uh, longer term forecasts that we provide to, to our customers. My expertise is presenting clients with current up-to-date environmental trends policy regulation and summing that up in an easily digestible analysis of environmental risk. The environmental terms um, are explicit and they are a, a much larger part than they have been over years. They're a growing part of uh, model contracts and indeed um, local national regulations. Um, if a company doesn't adhere to its environmental um, terms within a contract, there are a whole number of risks. It could be shut off, it could be cut out. I mean, that goes up into the, the millions, the billions of dollars. If you've laid a pipeline and the local regulations change, you're in big trouble. Policy drives uh, energy developments in any part of the world, but in Europe it's especially the case because the continent as a whole is so ambitious regarding environmental strategy. This informs uh, how policy develops uh, both at a corporate level and at a government level. Obviously our clients are very keen to hear about that. The Alaska story that uh, IHS has been following for a number of years now is a great example of where our researchers and analysts come together uh, utilising the underlying database and provide our customers with regular information, daily insight on what's happening. There's been some big changes recently uh, driven through primarily economic pressures uh, and the US's uh, desire to add to its reserve base. Um, about allowing uh, more drilling in Alaska, uh, particularly uh, offshore, although there is a, a large onshore component as well. I think there's been some optimism as a result of the recent permits that, that Shell have been awarded, but of course they're still waiting to um, have the actual drilling permits awarded, uh, so there's some reservation on that optimism. Shell, since 2005, has spent um, roughly 3.5 billion US dollars on leases in Alaska. It hasn't actually drilled even one well yet, so for them it is crucial that these uh, permits, the permitting goes ahead. Um, their oil spill plan has been approved based on an environmental impact assessment. And environmental groups say that this is not enough, that indeed you need an environmental impact study, which is something that takes even a few years to actually uh, to, to produce and to see how the environment changes. I think the, the Alaska story uh, threw up uh, an awful lot of implications across the energy chain and uh, one of them I think is that uh, how, will, uh, how will new discoveries, how will they be integrated into the supply chain that we already have? Now we're already seeing uh, disruptions in other parts of the world uh, factored in by uh, changes in production in others. So an upstream company is faced with a number of risks, um, namely uh, fiscal, legal, operational, and to an extent, reputational. 
Environmental risk is wrapped up in all of those. From an operational perspective, if an environmental permit is at some stage down the line taken away, that will affect the whole operation. It will be extremely costly. That overlaps into financial risk. If suddenly you aren't able to drill somewhere because a local um, environmental regulation has changed, huge financial risk. From a reputational risk, if a company is seen to be damaging or even going against an environmental permit it's received, reputationally it could be wiped out and that is wrapped up into financial and operational risk. The IHS daily insight that we provide is absolutely critical to decision making. Um, that combined with our decision making tools enables customers to look at a range of different options um, that they are considering and it really gives them the insight to allow them to make the right decision before they proceed and spend uh, what is often a huge amount of money. Normally clients will be able to get geological data from somewhere, or legal data from perhaps um, a, a, a law firm, um, other sorts of data from other news resources, but we are able to put that all together and work together to create, a, if you want, a, a one-stop portal of information. Customers that utilise IHS energy editorial and, and daily insight products are amongst the most successful in the world. IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world.